Hello, ACCA Performance Management people. My name is Steve Willis. Today we are looking at the spreadsheet exam technique you need for a rolling budget. We're looking at practice platform, the practice test question number 31. That's question static. So let's jump in and get started. So I have the question open in the practice platform, question static, question 31. We see a spreadsheet. We see prepare a rolling budget. So this is a numerical requirement, eight marks. If we use our basic time management rule of 1.8 minutes per mark, we've got about 14 minutes to handle this challenge. Now, there's a lot of reading here. It's going to take us a good three, four, maybe even five minutes, almost one third of the time to figure out what to do here. So I suggest slide the spreadsheet over to the right. You can read this carefully, pick out all of the information that's important, especially this numerical information here and these assumptions. Give the question a try right now at home. Come back to the video when you're done and let's compare our answers. I've done my reading. I've done my planning. I'm in the spreadsheet tool. Let's get ready to rock. We need columns. We need rows to make a template. So for a rolling budget, we need to substitute the budget of quarter one with the actual quarter one. So we can make a column for quarter one actual. Okay, then we can have quarter two through quarter one of next year as our new budget columns. Q2, Q3, Q4, quarter one of the next year. Of course, the marker will understand where those are coming from. Now we need some rows. So we will take the template that we see in the question. So we've got a sales line. We've got a cost of sales line. Common abbreviations are totally fine. We know that the marking, marking team will understand these, these abbreviations. We need a gross profit line. Then we have our distribution costs. We have our admin costs. And then we have an operating profit line. So we've made a nice template here. Remember, there are no marks for formatting. There are no marks for layout. There are no marks for making things bold and pretty. So go very light on the formatting. Make sure you can communicate your numbers to the marker and your step-by-step -step approach. And that is what you need to do. I can double click here on the column separator. I can plug in my actual results from quarter one, because I'm going to need those to roll the budget forward. So I've got a 14096 over here. I've got a negative 8740 here. I could use the sum function there, but I'm typing. It's just as easy to type that in 5356. We've got a negative 705 on the next line, a 2020 over here. And my operating profit, 2631. With these numbers, I can now do some more work. All right, let's come down here and make a quick working. We need to find that budgeted growth. Okay, so budgeted growth in sales. And that's simply going to be equal to the sales in the budgeted sales in quarter two over the budgeted sales in quarter one. So that's going to be equal to a 13,694 over a 13.425. Now, there we have it. Okay, I'm gonna grab that cell. Let's set that to a percentage. One decimal place is fine. So we have a 2% growth. That's gonna be very helpful. Now I can roll my sales forward by the budgeted amounts. So that's gonna be equal to the quarter one actual multiplied by what I find in cell C10. And watch this. We can set C10 to an absolute address by putting those dollar symbols there. Now, when I copy paste this across, 
it's going to keep that absolute reference to C10. Now we can do the cost of sales line and in the question they tell us that the budgeted margin was correct but the price was incorrect. Well if the price is incorrect we'll have to adjust that that margin. So let's get the revised margin based on the, the, the correct price which will be equal to my cost of sales. That's B4 divided by B3 multiplied by my sales in quarter two. And we like that. We can use relative cells and just drag that the rest of the way over because it will be picking up the same percentage in each case. Gross profit, easy calculation. That will be equal to the sum of the sales and that negative cost of sales. Drag this across here. Okay. They said distribution costs would remain the same percentage. So now all I have to do is get the All I have to do is get the distribution percentage of sales, and it's a 5%. That's what they said in the budget. And now all we have to do is multiply that 5% by this quarter two figure. And we can drag this over here. Alrighty, we're making quick work of this. Admin costs are fixed. We can grab this over here. Operating profit will now be equal to the sum of the numbers from gross profit to admin costs. Ladies and gents, look at that. Look how fast we can go in the spreadsheet tool. If you're finding this helpful, please throw down a like and you can subscribe to get notifications when I publish more videos like this. Guys, this is enough for a pass right here. There are no marks for formatting or labeling, but let's be professional. Let's clean this up a tiny bit. It's hard to read, if nothing more than just to be professional. So we can grab this. We can set that to a common format with a thousand separator, no decimal places. Okay, and now let's tell the marking team what we're working in. We're working in some countries dollars, okay, to the thousand. And if that doesn't stick, we have to add a open single quote line there. And then anything we type after that will be taken as a, as text, not a number. So now I can, can do that again. And ladies and gents, we have just cleared rolling budget in no time at all. We had 14 minutes for this. You can do this in five minutes with practice and build up a whole lot of buffer time that you can apply to other areas of the exam. Guys, I hope you found this is helpful. Don't forget to throw down a like and subscribe if you'd like more of these. Good luck on your exams. Steve signing out for now.